Hi friends, and welcome back to the second day of Helium 10's new content series, Predictions, Plans, and Preparations for Sellers in 2021. I'm Karen Thomas, and thank you so much for joining us. Helium 10 wanted to create a short content series to wrap up 2020 and get you on track for even greater success in 2021. And let's keep that holiday vibe going from yesterday. Ah, there we are, much better. Let's all get comfortable and let our first speakers of the day share their insights into the Amazon landscape in 2021. Vince Montero and Ben Aldern have teamed up to talk about the future of advertising on Amazon. Vince is the product manager of Helium 10's PPC tool ads. During his 14 year career in digital marketing, he built his expertise around the latest ad tech in both America and the UK, covering everything from affiliate marketing to mobile marketing at a mobile app development firm. Ben was the co-founder and CEO at Prestazon, and he now serves as the VP of Helium 10's ad platform. Ben is also a former Amazon seller who realized that he could leverage his background as a software developer and his data expertise to fill a huge gap in the Amazon PPC landscape. So without further delay, I will turn the stage over to Vince and Ben to look into 2021 and tell us all about the Amazon advertising landscape. How's it going, Ben? It's going all right. How are you doing, Vince? I'm doing well. Uh, we are happy to be here together to share some predictions uh, for everyone that's watching this series. Uh, for those of you who do not know, my name is Vince Montero. I'm the product manager here at Helium 10 for our ads tool, uh, which is our PPC management tool that I've been working on for just over a year. Recently launched out of beta at the end of last quarter. Um, and happy to introduce if you guys do not know ben aldern go ahead take it away hey folks i'm ben aldern just joined the team a couple months ago uh previously i was the ceo of presses on which is now a part of helium 10 and now i'm the vp of ad platform at helium 10 so just kind of you know helping folks get the most out of ppc through helium 10 and presses on and so today it's uh, we're going to be giving our predictions for next year um, and the great thing is that uh, presses on is currently being integrated um, into to ads and vice versa right now so uh, we might be able to give you some tidbits of information on what that might look like for 2021 so um, i'll go ahead and, and and start off with a prediction that i see uh, and a trend that i see that i think is going to be continuing through next year. Uh, many of you who have watched any of my uh, trainings or sessions know that I talk about tacos a lot, total sales and tacos. So I definitely see that that is gonna continue to be a trend that more sellers are gonna shift to focusing on those total sales numbers uh, when reviewing the effectiveness of their advertising campaigns on Amazon uh, versus just their PPC sales. Um, especially at launch, it's, it is good to track and monitor your PPC sales, but you definitely eventually want to start focusing more on those total sales numbers, those tacos numbers. Um, and for PPC sellers that are brand new, and, and, and Ben can talk about this too, really PPC should be considered a cost of doing business on Amazon. It's, it should be incorporated in, as like a marketing line item at that point for uh, when you're just launching an Amazon, you don't have any history, you don't have any relevancy. So PPC is definitely one of the ways that you can do that. So you should consider your PPC costs just you know, a part of doing business on Amazon. Um, but you should also be working with tools such as ads to track what your total sales and your tacos is gonna be because you should see an upward trend. Um, and also and on top of that and, and, and connected to that, uh, a trend that I do see that I think will continue next year is Amazon uh, recently released its attribution API. We're gonna see more tools incorporating uh, the ability to track the performance of your external marketing. So if uh, any of you guys are doing outside marketing, Facebook, Instagram, or what have you, um, you're gonna be able to track that uh, data as well. So given that, you're gonna have a more holistic approach to looking at your Amazon business. So that's what I see to be a continuing trend for next year, for uh, specifically for, for PPC. 
What do you think, Ben? I think you're spot on. I think that, uh, you know, as there's more and more competition every year on Amazon, uh, the prize is going to go to the folks who have a more holistic strategy that includes like knowing your business really well, understanding how much you're spending on marketing, including that, you know, the PPC cost as a cost of doing business. Uh, but thinking about what the customer experience is when they see your listing and your ads, you know, branding, I think is going to be really important. Uh, on Amazon, you don't have a lot of control over creative, you know, you get a little bit with uh, sponsored brands, you get some, uh, you know, copy that mm -hmm. you can change, but there's not a lot there. Uh, and that's one of the great things about Amazon advertising, because you don't have to make those decisions, everything's very consistent. So the customer experience of your brand is consistent because it's consistent with the Amazon experience. But once you start going off Amazon, that's all in your control. So you're, you know, you're advertising on Instagram or Facebook or, uh, you know, anywhere else. You want to make sure that the customer sees your creative, your brand, mm -hmm. and is, you know, it's recognizable as your brand. Mm -hmm. uh, then you want that experience to be as consistent as possible when they come back to Amazon. They land on your details page and they see your pictures, they see your brand name, they scroll down. If, uh, if you're brand registered, you'll have the opportunity to do enhanced brand content and stuff like that. You really want to make sure that the, the experience is consistent there too so that the, you know, the customer thinks, okay, yeah, I can trust this brand. They've got it together. Uh, you know, I, I, I want to buy something from them because I feel like they care about what they do. Right. So that's, that's my big prediction for 2021. And honestly, just going forward uh, is that brands who care more about their brand presence and what that conveys to the customer are going to win more on Amazon because they're also going to be winning more off Amazon. For those of you who do not know, uh, brand registry is the primary way to increase the visibility exposure of your brand. Um, some of the ad units that we see as being very powerful to this branding story from external, external to within Amazon, those are your sponsored brand ads, those are your sponsored display ads. Um, so sponsored brand ads are going to continue to be more powerful next year because of all the video capabilities that Amazon's going to continue to expand upon, I'm sure. Sponsored display uh, just has a lot of cool new product targeting capabilities that they didn't even have. Uh, just a few months ago, it used to just be audience targeting. So Amazon's going to be continue to invest on um, uh, expanding upon that brand experience. Um, they've even recently uh, made it uh, the ability to edit your logo and your headline and creative for a sponsored display now as well. So it's not just your sponsored brands anymore that you can copy your message from your external marketing, um, you know, to your sponsored brand ad unit. It's also your sponsored display that you're now able to do that with too for product targeting specifically. Um, but those are ad units that are all about branding and Amazon's gonna continue to focus um, on that. So if you're not brand registered already, make sure you get in, start the process because you definitely wanna take advantage of everything that's gonna come out of that for, for 2021 and beyond. Yeah, exactly. And given the, all these new placements and all these new ad types, it really gives you the opportunity to do this kind of branding. Whereas, you know, a year or two ago wasn't really as easy or even possible. <clears throat> One experience I had recently was, you know, just browsing Amazon on Cyber Monday, looking for some stuff. And uh, <laughs> I bought way too much. <laughs> <laughs> did you? I, I bought a couple of things. Uh, the, so I, I did a search and uh, the, the, sponsored brand ad at the top, as well as the top three placements were all one brand and the top two organic placements were that brand. Nice. So I did this search is pretty popular category and all I see is this one brand. Right. So what do I think? Like, obviously this is the brand to go with. Right. Um, yeah. I they, believe they I did enough going with sure. that, you know, I mean, they also had like thousands of reviews, five stars. So they had their bait. Like you can't forget those basics. You have to have, you know, a awesome. good listing, good reviews, high review count. That's what you're aiming for. But you, you will get that and multiply it with this like cohesive strategy. And so, yeah, that, that's definitely something that we're going to continue to see. Uh, Amazon's not going to be slowing down anytime soon. I predict we're going to see a lot more placements for the sponsor brand videos um, because they convert like crazy. Uh, every user that we see that has a video definitely sees 
uh, higher click through rates, even if they're not even that good videos, but obviously doing better videos is probably going to be a bigger push. So lots of things uh, regarding uh, branding that we're going to see continue to expand upon uh, Amazon next year and beyond. So um, yeah, that, that's pretty much, you know, what I wanted to cover. Um, we're definitely also looking forward to once we have our combined uh, platforms, there's going to be some things that uh, we're going to be able to help you guys do and track a little bit better. Um, one thing I'm looking forward to is uh, the ability to kind of take our keyword research capabilities, which we have in Magnet and Cerebro, and be able to implement those or tie those into different areas of ads, say in our campaign builder, uh, where you can very simply either import a list there through our, our keyword uh, or my list capabilities or our keyword manager, or you know maybe even do a, a quick search uh, using ASINs, uh, maybe just a couple ASINs and having uh, our tool actually maybe give you some suggestions right away. So there's some interesting things as well that straight from the PPC uh, tool perspective, software perspective, that I'm looking forward to in, um, in, into next year. What are some capabilities or interactions or integrations that you're looking forward to? Yeah, the reason that I thought it made a lot of sense to join presses on with Helium 10 was because Helium 10 has all this amazing data that isn't related to advertising. And, you know, advertising isn't really just a standalone thing. It's, it needs to be integrated into your whole strategy. So, you know, keeping an eye on your competitors, you know, who is, mm. who are the, you know, top 20 ASINs for any keyword. Uh, are you doing product targeting against them? Like it, that's a really aggressive strategy, you know, and you know, it could be kind of an expensive one if, uh, if you don't do it quite right, but like it can also make sure you get as many sales as possible from your competitors, which is a great long-term strategy because it, especially if you have a, an item that is a repeat purchase, like, you know, anything in the, like foods or supplements space, like right. you want to, you know, you want to get those customers away from your competitors enjoying your product so that they order again next month. So, you know, you, that is worth, you know, maybe a 300% ACOS on the first purchase because they're actually going to buy 10 more times. Right. So, you know, there's, there's a ton of really cool strategies you can use there. And all these tools that Helium 10 has really enable you to, uh, do these aggressive advertising strategies that, you know, make sure the customer sees your brand a lot. Some cool stuff. Um, hopefully you guys that are watching this are with us uh, in a few months. Uh, we've got some exciting announcements in Q1 uh, and beyond. Um, but everyone that uh, is watching, hopefully you're, you're getting some insights, not only from our session here, but from everyone else. So uh, thank you for your time and uh, hope to see you on our ads platform uh, sometime soon. <laughs> see y'all later. Thank you both for those awesome predictions and helpful suggestions on ways to prepare for even greater marketing options in 2021. I am so excited about Amazon's new attribution API to allow for even better tracking of your marketing dollars outside of Amazon. Better information helps you make smarter business decisions. And I absolutely love that you both talked about the importance of having brand registry. Amazon absolutely rewards registered brands with special advertising options like sponsor display ads and sponsor brand ads. But you have to be registered to take advantage of them. Up next, I am super excited to introduce one of my very favorite Amazon experts, Liron Hirschkorn. Liron is a widely followed thought leader. He's also a speaker on marketing and selling on Amazon, and he's the CEO of Incrementum Digital, an Amazon-focused marketing agency. Liron has sold millions of dollars on Amazon since 2014, and today he's going to share his thoughts about branding on Amazon in 2021. So take it away, Liron. Hi, my name is Liron Hirschkorn. I'm the CEO of Incrementum Digital. And I'm gonna to talk to you about my predictions for 2021. So I'm gonna be talking about my predictions as far as a, uh, from a marketing perspective. Uh, so here's kind of where, where I think uh, Amazon is going in 2021 and kind of where the market is going. So from a marketing perspective, uh, I think Amazon is gonna be putting um, higher focus on uh, storefronts, um, Amazon Live, uh, external traffic, editorial content, 
um, and some of the uh, advertising side. So let's talk specifically about each one. So we've seen Amazon put on some detail pages a uh, these large blocks. You may have seen it. it it's been on some detail pages, um, not that much, but um, you, you may have noticed these large blocks where they're featuring um, uh, basically pages of somebody's storefront in, in, in taking up a massive amount of space. And so what Amazon is really doing is they're really wanting to drive free traffic to your storefront. We've seen them do it earlier this year just by changing the, uh, instead of having a brand name, if you have brand registry they have and you have a storefront, they have visit you know brand storefront, right? So now they're putting these huge blocks and they want to get traffic to the storefront. Why? Because Amazon wants to one appeal to uh, brands. Number two, because they know people spend more money and have a higher uh, average order value when they go to a storefront because naturally they see more products and they can kind of shop around within within a brand. So that means um, you should be really focused on developing an amazing storefront. Um, and uh, I think you'll be rewarded for it, not just from you know this free placement, but also by sending um, advertising traffic directly to your, um, to your storefront and give you the ability to kind of um, have and promote uh, related products through the through the storefront. Let's talk about Amazon Live. We've seen, um, you know, I, when I think about predictions, uh, I think about signals that Amazon is showing me. Um, at the uh, Amazon Accelerate conference, this virtual conference Amazon did uh, a few months ago, one of the first uh, presentations was about Amazon Live. And so I think Amazon sees you know, uh, social and Instagram as a potential kind of threat uh, as Instagram starts to add shops. And um, there's a lot of influencers there. And now if you go to Amazon Live, the first thing you see on top is all these kind of like influencers that have, you know, a thousand, two thousand plus viewers watching these live uh, live kind of shows where they're also selling products underneath. I think Amazon's going to put a greater focus on uh, Amazon Live. Um, and we've already seen it uh, a couple of times on, on Cyber Monday, Amazon Live was actually also featured on detail pages, not just on the Amazon Live page. So again, I think Amazon wants to go towards a more social environment. What does that mean for you? It means you need to add Amazon Live into your strategy for 2021, whether that means you doing it yourself, whether that means you use an external service that has a, a studio. Um, I My suggestion is to find influencers that... Um, you know, that have an audience that will go on Amazon Live and work with them. And, you know, I really think the Amazon Live algorithm works where if you have a lot of people watching in the beginning, it can shoot up at the top and you get that prominent uh, placement. So if you work with influencers who will promote the Amazon Live ahead of time and draw that audience in, you can really get a lot of traffic and sales by going uh, live on uh, Amazon. And I think that should be um, if it hasn't been, because uh, most people have not sort of adopted this yet, um, this should be part of your strategy for uh, for 2021. Um, I also think that uh, external traffic is going to become more important as people try to drive kind of more more demand for their products. If if um, you're kind of maxing out the the demand that you're getting just from Amazon search, um, I think you're going to see more people trying to drive traffic off uh, Google, off Facebook, especially as Amazon tries to make Amazon attribution kind of less clunky and more functional than it is now. Um, and it works, starts to work better, and you can really track the results of that. I think external traffic will just become uh, more important. Already, kind of seeing um, Google traffic as being one great potential source, Google Ads, of driving uh, traffic to uh, to uh, Amazon. Um, editorial content, we've seen that kind of rise this year, getting more uh, a lot more placements on pages, a lot more keywords. I think you're going to see multiple publishers on a page with editorial content. That means. Um, finding ways to get into that editorial content. There are PR companies that can help you do that. Um, and I also think editorial content is going to start to show on detail pages. So Amazon doesn't want you to go to Google and find reviews of a product from third-party sources. They want you to stay on the site. And so I think editorial content will be more important and really kind of working this flywheel of Amazon of getting you know organic uh, organic rank um, through being on the editorial, being in the sponsored uh, brand placement, being being in the sponsored product placement, being in sponsored display and working this flywheel of organic rank by just having multiple placements or what I call, or what people call share of voice on a page, having multiple times where your product is being shown on page to really kind of dominate a, a keyword. And, you know, one thing to know is that really 
for most products on Amazon, it's really like three to five main keywords that are driving all the sales for the for the for these products. There are the long tail, but if you focus on those top keywords for your product, as you build up more reviews, you can try to go after them and kind of have this strategy of getting more share of voice of the page, more products that you have, um, or one product that you have taking up more percentage of space uh, on that. Um, on that particular, uh, on that particular page, I also think Amazon's gonna, you know, as they've done this year, um, continue to expand what's available through advertising. Um, who knows? Maybe you'll see uh, being able to target, you know, geo-targeted areas if you're selling a, a you know, a, a product, a pool toy. Maybe you only want to target that to people in Florida or California or, or certain places um, during the winter where you might not want to target the whole country with those types of products. I think that would be smart for Amazon. It'll be interesting to see if they come out with that. Other ad platforms like Facebook um, and Google, they have this geo-targeting. So I think eventually Amazon will be adding geo-targeting. I also think you're going to see more video placement. So if you haven't focused on video ads, you know, really got to get with it. It's one of the uh, best performing ad types uh, of 2020. I think it will continue to perform in 2021. And um, I think you'll have to kind of up your game as far as the creative on, on video. Um, and I also see that uh, DSP is going to become more prominent. And I think Amazon will develop an API and more automation. Um, and DSP is going to kind of become something that gets uh, that more sellers get access to at lower dollar amounts through agencies or maybe through Amazon themselves and will become kind of um, a little bit more um, utilized a little bit more, although it's not for, for everyone. In general, you know, what's happening in the space now is there's a lot of money coming in the space. We're hearing every, you know, literally every month, uh, several companies are raising, you know, a lot of money, 50 million, 100 million to go and buy brands. What does that mean for you? It means as a seller, um, it means you're now competing, right? With these big brands that have a lot of money, you need to up your game. Um, but also you have an opportunity to build a brand that now there's a lot of money coming in and competing to buy your brand. And I think that valuation will be going up um, in 2021. We've seen kind of like a two to three X, you might see this three to four X um, in terms of, or three to five X in terms of values that uh, brands can get by um, now just having more people competing to go to go um, buy your brand. But I think what it means also is you're, you're gonna have to just go from being good to being excellent in order to be able to, to compete better creative, better packaging, better, you know, uh, detail pages, more, um, you know, A plus content infographics, as opposed to kind of old style, uh, A plus pages. So I really think, um, you know, 2021 is the year that you need to go from just like good to excellent. You can't, uh, you know, you can't anymore just place any product on Amazon and have, uh, and have success. And I think, you know, the product becomes more and more important as far as, um, you know, um, making better products, um, innovating, um, getting IP, all these things, I think also become more important, but really excellence in terms of uh, creative, mastering the advertising side and using a lot of different marketing, um, you know, levers that, that you have available on Amazon videos, Amazon live storefronts, like using a combination of, of all these things and potentially mixing in influencers and uh, outside traffic uh, along with that. Um, and I think 2021 is going to be another, uh, you know, breakout year better than 2020 for, for Amazon. More people have, have adopted e-commerce in 2020 and uh, it's amazing. It's an amazing opportunity to go um, launch more products and have uh, an amazing year. I wish you uh, a super successful year in uh, 2021. Um, you know, this is a, I think we're in this kind of golden era right now that, you know, um, COVID has really accelerated the growth of e-commerce. And um, this is kind of your opportunity to really, um, you know, make money, build a brand, exit, um, do a lot of things that, you know, I think we're kind of in a unique time period to do. So wish you uh, much success in uh, 2021 and beyond. Wow, that was such a fantastic presentation. Thank you so much, Liron. I really appreciate you talking about ways to improve sales and conversion using Amazon Lives, storefronts, editorial content, and some advanced advertising features. I think it is so cool that Amazon is pushing customers to visit brand storefronts more. It definitely seems like a big win for Amazon sellers to increase the customer's average cart values. I'm particularly excited about your prediction of Amazon doing some geo-targeting for location-specific advertising. That was some incredibly helpful and powerful predictions and suggestions to prepare for 2021. 
So thanks again, Liran. And thank you all for watching day two of our exciting new content series, Predictions, Plans, and Preparations for Sellers in 2021. Make sure to join me tomorrow for day three of this mini series. I will be joined by a New York Times best-selling author, George Bryant. Lastly, as a special offer for watching day two, you can get a free PPC audit at the link below in the comments. Plus, you can also get 50% off your first month of a Helium 10 Platinum or Diamond Plan subscription. Just use the code and the link in the comments below.